And you got to remember that 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 men, just like boys, they have a desire for risk and competition to do something significant and to, to make an impact on the world. But they don't have many opportunities to do that. You know, it's like us as homeschool parents. We don't just sit down and say, okay, here's the Bible. We're going to read three verses for today and then be done with it. No, a, any good Christian intentional homeschool parent is going to, throughout the day, find opportunities to teach our kids about Jesus and to point them mm. to Jesus. And so it sounds like that's exactly what you're doing through Trail Life is it's not just a like, okay, one time let's read the Bible or let's memorize a verse. But when you're together, when you're with these boys, you're constantly feeding them truths mm. of God's word and it's strengthening them. And you you talked about your wife talking about how you and your boys walked in stinky, but taller. I think that happens spiritually as well with our kids is that when we're constantly feeding them the word of God and we're constantly feeding them truth and righteousness, they just stand a little bit taller spiritually and, and they can't help but to do that, right? They really do. And yeah. then being surrounded by all these other peers of theirs mm -hmm. who are doing the same thing. I mean, there's no better formula for these boys wanting to learn more and to become better, more godly men. Yeah. And, and when you talk about godly men, the men are going through this experience too. Yeah. You got to remember that, that, that men, just like boys, they have a desire for risk and competition and do something significant and to, to make an impact on the world, but they don't have many opportunities to do that. Yeah. And so in the outdoors with these boys, now they are doing ministry. You know, they're a whole weekend with boys. And so men are discovering, oh my gosh, I am a minister of the gospel. You know, maybe at my church, I help park cars or I help clean stack chairs or, you know, cer certainly I can, I can serve around the church, but here I am having an impact on the next generation. And so that raises men out because they feel that sense of responsibility and their behavior and their relationship with the Lord begins to grow too, because they realize how those boys are focused on them. They are now models and examples of Christ-likeness. And so they, they step up their game in the outdoors and men have these wonderful uh, godly relationships. You know, men don't do really well sitting across the table, a cup of coffee, talking right. about <laughs> growing in God, but side by side, turning a wrench or hiking a trail or something like that, men bond in that way. And, and they watch each other and they grow from each other. When the boys bed down at night, those men are sitting around the fire and they're saying, Hey, I, you know, I saw the way you talk with your son today. How, how'd you get that relationship with him? Or, 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 you know, I'm struggling with something at work or at home and, you know, some, Sometimes I'm not doing my best to represent Christ. Help me with that. And these guys have these amazing conversations around a fire where they're all looking at the fire, not deeply into each other's eyes. Right. <laughs> you know, they're looking into the fire, just pondering these things and looking at the stars above and thinking about these deep things. So not only are we seeing these boys becoming godly men, we're seeing the godly men in the program being strengthened and finding a brotherhood that they don't have any place else. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 